We're back on this freak show of uh, changing a uh, high-pressure sodium lamp out for a mercury vapor lamp. And I thought it would be a lot more easy just as unwiring some wires on the ballast and wiring certain things in. But the thing that really is confusing me is the difference between the photocell and the lamp starter. Now, the mercury vapor lamp did not have a lamp starter in it, but it had a photocell or daylight sensor that was mounted on top of the fixture. This is the said device. And this fixture here uh, did not have a daylight sensor. This was would have been a fixture that would have been had two wires ran into it and turned on and off via a, a lamp timer in some building somewhere or on a pole or whatever. Or maybe even another photocell with a, with a contactor. But... Right here is the lamp starter. And this, I noticed, had three wires going into it, much like the daylight sensor. Uh, there's one wire. Actually, I'll go over. This is a wiring diagram I made that I'm not sure is right or not. We have the igniter or lamp starter right here. We have one wire that comes from the ballast all the way down into the third position of the igniter have one wire, which is our live wire that goes into position one on the igniter, and then position two is the common that goes back to the common and also goes to the bulb common. There's also a live connection, ugh, and then there's a direct connection from the bulb uh, to the ballast. Now, I'm going to be using this. Now, this is one I created based off of, uh, based off of some wiring diagrams online and compare and uh, some similarities to this fixture, so I'm going to leave this here. Now, if this is right, this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to hook everything up to that contactor, I mean, not contactor, uh, that lamp starter, and see if that does the th same thing as the photocell. Pretty much, I just want to know that all my values are correct. You can go back and look at the original video I made of this. Not the video previous to this, but the vi two videos before the initial one, where I did get this... Uh, where I did get this light fixture. This fixture, I believe, is made by McGraw Edison because there was something on here that said McGraw Edison, and then one of the viewers commented saying that it was McGraw Edison. But the original ballast said General Electric on it, as well as the capacitor said General Electric, and then on the other side, on the underside of this, it says General Electric. So I'm starting to think that this fixture is actually made by General Electric or GE. Um, but I don't really know much about this type of fixture. Um, I've still yet to even mess with the arm stuff yet, but hopefully I can get this working before tonight, because I would really like to have a high-intensity discharge fixture put up on the side of the building again, ASAP. Um, if not, I might go look around, go on Facebook Marketplace, trying to find another bucket light or something, until I can get this functional. And even if this is functional, I don't, what are the chances that this thing will work anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Something else is I might get one of the satellite dish brackets. That satellite dish over there is inactive, so I might tear it. I might take that down and use the bracket from that and then mount that right. I'll show you where. Probably right there, because I don't think it would fit right up there exactly. Could always mount it over here on the side of the building or something like that. That's what I would like to do. But um, we'll find out really what's going on later at some point. Some kids outside are looking at me very weird and I feel uncomfortable, but yeah, let's see if all of this stuff works here with this light and if anyone can give me any insight on how to wire this up, I would greatly appreciate it because I really have no idea what I'm doing here and I'm not sure if what I wrote down here on this wiring diagram is correct.